Here's what to expect when you run the code in this LabVIEW project. To begin, you'll want to establish this connection. We're taking the pulse width modulated output to drive the input on DIO0. Here we have RT main. Let's go ahead and get this started. RT main loads and runs a VI on the FPGA fabric as well. Now the pulse width modulated output is generated on the FPGA fabric and we're measuring its positive pulse width also on the FPGA fabric. Notice there is absolutely no jitter. That is, when you change the, the value of the pulse width, it works out to be some particular number of clock cycles and there is absolutely no variation whatsoever. Let's try changing our signal source to an oscillator contained in a non-deterministic loop on the RT target. This is DIO0 on MXP connector A. So this is set up to generate a pulse width of 10 milliseconds. And as I mentioned earlier, it's generated by a conventional while loop on the RT target. If we zoom in a bit here on the pulse width value, that is set the lower and upper limits on our meter, we note that there is significant jitter. That is quite a, quite a bit of variation in the pulse width. Now let's try changing to a deterministic loop, and this is available on DIO1. So we're still generating our, or still containing our oscillator on the RT target, but when we compare, we see that the, j the jitter is substantially less.